Hey guys, it's Kevin with Mix Coach. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to set up your, your studio's website. If you don't have one, you're really missing out. Now I've got several websites, but I don't have a studio website. So I'm going to show you today how I'm going to set up my studio website and how you can do it in just a few minutes. It's a lot easier than you think it is. Uh, a lot of people are intimidated. They think they have to know code or all kinds of... Uh, uh, geeky stuff to set up their website and I'm going to show you today that that's just not true you can you can have your website set up in just a few minutes so. now the service that I use for my website is called Bluehost and you just go to mixcoach.com and just put Bluehost in and this is an affiliate link and they will pay me a small commission if you sign up under my affiliate link and if you do I really do appreciate it and my family does too. Now when you go to mixcoach.com forward slash bluehost it will send you straight to the site. Now all you'll need to do, now if you notice you'll get hosting for $4.95 a month which is just unheard of. But anyway I'm going to show you how to go through this and uh, have you a website set up in just a few minutes. We'll hit the sign up button and what you'll do is go over here to the left side where it says enter domain name. Now you want to consider your domain name before you, uh, there's just a couple of things to consider on your domain name is, is it going to be easy to tell people what the name of your website is? I mean, uh, like whenever you say the number two or instead of two, how do you spell to? Is it T-O? Is it T-W-O? Is it T-O-O? You want to avoid things like that that would be hard to understand for people. Another thing you want to keep in mind too is that this is the domain is how people are going to be able to find you in your area. So if you have um, you know a name that people refer to you as then by all means use that. Now on all of my record credits I usually use Kilowatt Studios. So this is what I'm going to put in here. Now I actually searched just a moment ago to see if this was available and this is a good way to do that. So kilowattstudios.com is what I'm going to use. You just hit next wait for it and if it's available you'll get this screen here now I'm going to fill in this information I use one password for this sort of thing and it fills in everything for me now scroll down here and depending on how long you want to you want to do this they have 36 months price which is 495 a month a 24 month price which is 595 a month or if you're not sure about it just use the 12 month price at 695 a month that's what I'm going to do and then I'll, I'll re-up later on now the site domain security and the site backup pro I really don't think you're going to need that but the domain who is privacy you will in my opinion need that I, I've created one website without it and I get mail to my house from people that are just scraping the internet looking for your billing address, which is on the Who Is directory. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. But it's it's worth the extra nine ninety five a year if you don't mind getting some junk mail, or if you get all your junk mail to another location, you may want to save ten bucks a year. But I would recommend the nine ninety five nine ninety nine a year. Okay, now the billing information is what they need next. So again, I'm going to do my handy dandy billing information here and it filled it in for me now look at the bottom it says I confirm that I've read the agreement if you want to go through and read all that stuff feel free um, <laughs> I'm not I'm just gonna hit next now once you put your credit card information in this is the page where they want to make sure that you're not gonna to want to buy something else from them so you may want to consider buying the dot net or the dot org I'm not actually going to do that this time I'm going to just keep it this way, but if you've got a cool studio name, a lot of times what I do when I buy domains is I'll buy the .net and the .com. Uh, I'm not going to do that for this demonstration purposes. Now these other options right here you probably don't need right now because you're just getting your website started and you can always add these as you need them. So let's click continue. Okay, so now the purchase has been made and they've sent me an email, a confirmation email to my email address that I put in just a few minutes ago. Now they want me to create a password. So I'm going to hit my create password. Okay, so now we're going to set our password and this is our cPanel password. So what we're going to do is I'm going to add my password here. Ooh. Looks like I got a good one. As you strengthen the password, the, the greener that'll get. So uh, this is optional. 
I'm not going to do that for now. Uh, if you want to read this, this is um, optional, but anyway, we're going to hit submit. Okay, so this is my password. I'm going to add my, and I'm going to log in. Okay, primary purpose for hosting my account. I'm going to say it's my business, and my business is Target local customers know uh, what best describes this business. Let's just say that we're doing professional business services since music is not in there. What words best describe your studio in Google? This is so people can find you in Google being Yahoo. So let's do music. Uh, let's, a comma would separate all these words. So music, recording, um, CDs. I don't know. You, you may want to do a little research there, but anyway, that's just a quick. So we'll hit submit. And now we're logging in to what Bluehost calls the cPanel. And don't worry about this. I can explain this stuff to you later. This is nothing to worry about. It looks intimidating when you first do this. But anyway, the splash comes up. It says, no, no thanks, I'm fine. Although you can look at that and, and see tutorials that they've done. It's pretty good. Now what we're going to do, we've got our domain name and we've got our hosting. So now what we want to do is install WordPress. So just rolls down here, scroll down here to Site Builders and press WordPress. Okay, now what we're going to do is install WordPress on our server. So we're going to do install down here. We're going to, with the latest version of WordPress, which is 3.4.2, and just go to, it usually defaults to the one you want to do, but just to make sure that it's stable. Where would you like it installed? I want it installed right here. I, uh, I don't want to put anything here. I just want to install it right here on Kilowatt Studios. Okay, now step two, we don't need to do anything. These, you really don't need these. These are kind of paid affiliate sort of things, and you really don't need anything like that. Now, if you want to click, I have read the terms and conditions, and hit complete. It is getting ready to, actually, it's already done. So, see how quick that was? Now, just a couple of notes. The default username is always admin. I'm going to copy and paste this uh, password that they gave me and I will show you later on how to change the default username from admin because hackers know that admin is kind of the standard and they'll use that. Now don't be scared about hackers. The, uh, it's very rare that it happens but you'll probably want to go and change admin to something that's usable to you uh, like your name. Okay, so let's just head on over to the new website, kilowattstudios.com. Now you may have this, you may have this header is what they call it, um, and you may have a different picture. It's really not a big deal. Uh, what we're going to do to log in, this is the front end. This is what everybody's going to see, and we're going to change this real quick. So go down here to Meta where it says log in, and you're going to get this screen right here. So we're going to add the admin. And then we're going to add that password that I copied, and we're going to ask it to remember me, and I'm going to hit log in. Now this is the back end of the website. This is where you would add things so that people can see on your on your on the front of your website. What we're going to do right now is I'm going to create a new post. I'm going to add new post. Let me explain to you real quick the difference between pages and posts. And again, I'll try to have some tutorials for you on MixCoach on this. A post is something that moves up and down. The older it gets, the further down the page it goes. So your new post will appear at the top of the page usually, unless you set it up differently. Pages are for things, for sales pages, or maybe you want to put a package together for your studio. Um, for you know a recording package or something like that that would probably live on a page another thing that would live on a page would be an about me something that doesn't change but right now what we're going to do is we're going to add a new post and I'm just going to say something really original like welcome to my new studio website and then let's see we'll say 
Okay, so you can choose to add a picture to this if you want to. I can show that to you later in the studio, too. Okay, so what we're going to do here is hit Publish. And now it's published. So now we're going to go to Kilowatt Studios. We're going to visit the site. And this is the website. Hello World is something that normally happens that... Uh, when you install WordPress, Hello World is going to be there. You can delete that if you want to. And this is the, my, my Welcome to My Studio website. This is how easy it is to set up your studio website. If you want to come back to MixCoach.com, I'll show you how to install new looks and new themes. Uh, but this is how easy it is to set up a website. So I hope you find this helpful, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.